YouTube, what up? Hey, right now, you know, we got my little tier list, you know what I'm saying? I'm on tier maker, of course. It's not, I don't have an account yet, nor have I actually created a tier, if you know what I'm talking about. So, this is something completely random that I picked on, that where I clicked on uh, the, bas uh, the best basketball movies of all time, you know what I'm saying? And uh, there's some movies on there that's, that's supposed to be there, but it's not on there. So, I mean, it's, it's some of them that I have never even watched. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's a lot of them that I have. You know, I just want to, I'm doing this just to test the waters. Cause I'm going to continue to do this shit. Like, I, I know I'm saying testing the waters, but I'm, I'm just reviewing. I'm going to analyze myself when I edit all this shit and, and y'all see this shit. But I'm going to be doing shit like this. I'm supposed to be and done it. I just don't, sometimes I just be procrastinating and shit like that. So, y'all, if y'all like it, man, y'all like it. And if y'all feel like uh, I misplaced a movie, you know, just let me know in the comments, bro. Let me know how you feel about it. And, give me, and if it's a movie that I don't know about, just give me a brief little description or a brief summary in the comments, man, if y'all want to type shit. But I'm going to go ahead and get into this shit, bro. Um, Man, I'm, I'm really excited for this shit, man. I've been really been wanting to do this shit for a minute, but eventually I'll be making my own list. And I'm going to be going crazy. Like, you know, it's going to be high take after high take type shit, man. All right, so shit, first off. We got He Got Game, bro. Automatically S tier. Automatically. Um, arguably the best movie on this motherfucker, but let me tell y'all a quick story. When I was in middle school, I played middle school ball, you know what I'm saying? Until I got eighth grade, I was feeling myself, smelling myself. Uh, like seventh grade summer, heading to eighth grade. I'll start, I watched, he got game for the first time. My uncle put me on my uncle Peyton. And I just got hooked to the Jesus Shuttlesworth character. Of course, he's Ray Allen. So I started wearing fake Jesus piece chains and shit. Like I remember I broke it my, with my girlfriend at the time, broke it. So I tied it with, I tied it with some tooth, with some, uh, some, uh, some, some floss. And I tied it up in a knot and I cut it so you really couldn't see that it was actually a, it was two it was two different chains it was it was a necklace and then the piece it was actually knotted together and shit. And I walk I always tell people man call me Jesus bro oh God like you know what I'm saying people really did do that shit for a little minute bro but I actually got kicked off the basketball team like in the middle of the season on some on some bullshit but that's on another story for another day but that's automatically S tier bro Space Jam one. S tier. I mean, no doubt about it. I mean, I, I remember watching this shit on the little on the little box TVs back when I was a young and young and like six six five years old watching that shit. And um, I just remember the intro when uh young the dude who played Young Mike he's on Soul Food or whatever the uh, the movie called. But I remember I just remember he was he was shooting this shit. The soundtrack is amazing. Uh, the motherfucking I'm gonna fly like an eagle to the you know, man that shit hard bro <laughs> Space Jam 2 man it just can't compare man I don't man it ain't no type of bias or I ain't hate LeBron but that's just a classic man straight up and when the little boy was acting like he was finna dunk it and they turned into a uh, Michael Jordan uh, compilation man, that shit was amazing bro straight up I really can't see what this shit is uh, damn, I really can't see this shit. I wish we could zoom in and shit, but we can't. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put this shit in the D tier. Y'all forgive me, I should have looked this shit up, but it is what it is. All right, so we got Go Man Go. Uh, I never watched this movie a day in my life, I never heard of it, I never seen it. So I'm just not gonna, I'm not, I'm just gonna put it in the D tier. All right, Glory Road. Now I watched this shit like once or twice, and it was bits and pieces of it. I know okay, I think it was like somewhere. Uh, I think it was Texas Western or something like that. Um, it was a solid movie, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't S. It wasn't S tier, so I give it about B. It's a B. A uh, fast break. I, I never watched that movie a day in my life. Uh, Y'all just let me know about that shit in the comments. And if this is your favorite movie, man, hey man, it's just in my opinion. And I'm just giving y'all the truth. I ain't finna sugarcoat this shit. I ain't finna lie to y'all or none of that. So we're gonna go ahead and put this shit in the D tier. But you know, I haven't seen it before. Uh Basketball Diaries. I have not seen that shit before. That shit sound like 
like some high school musical shit. Uh, one on one. I haven't seen that shit. I haven't seen it. Thunderstruck. I got. I had this shit on DVD. Around this time, bro. Well, I'm gonna put this in. This is. It's a solid movie. It's. It's a beat. It's kind of like a like Mike, but kind of like in a different way. Like I think he got the power through through the basketball, and K started playing like complete trash. But this was back when KD was for the OKC Thunder. I used to love, I still love KD. But, you know, back then, like, besides Kobe, KD was like, he was that nigga, bro. Like, he, he was that man for me back then. And he's still raw as hell today. But that 35 KD, man, I always respect the movie. You know, when I, when I, I think I watched it like a year ago, just to kind of reminisce, kind of reflect. And, you know, it was like on some, yeah, this movie could have been. Do, you know, made better, but hey, it's a kids movie. You know, I was looking to put in the A, but it quite ain't there. You know, just just you know me not trying to be biased. It's a B tier. It's all right. Now, semi pro. I'm gonna give it a B because I never watched it, but just the uh, like from the jerseys people be making, just the jerseys I be seeing. Like I was in Memphis, uh, like in November, and it was it was a uh, it was a. Uh, it was a store that we had all type of jerseys, like the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, uh, Above the Rim, Jesus Shuttlesworth, you know, them type of uh, jerseys as well as uh, real jerseys in real life. I never watched the movie, but I know it's probably a classic, so I'm putting the beats here just because I never watched it, but I still want to give it that respect. Uh, White Man Can't Jump, A tier. It's, it's funny moments. You know, 90s movies, man. It's just something about the 90s and the and the, uh, the late 80s movies. Really, the 90s, like from Boys in the Hood, uh, White Men Can't Jump, A Butter Rim. I mean, it just so he got. I mean, just so many classics, like in that era. And this is one of them. And uh, I watched it like probably like four times all of my life. And I ain't watched it from beginning to end, but I watched enough to know about it. And what's the whole point? So I give it that respect, and then it just—it's just a shit. It's just, you know, it's kind of self-explanatory. But the pistol, I never watched this, so I put it in the D category. Uh, what the fuck is that? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That shit look trash. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't gonna care. But blue chips, a very solid movie. I put this shit in the B tier because I mean I watched it I, I watched it from beginning to end. Nah, I'm put it nah yeah B tier man. I watched it from beginning to end probably like two years ago. And what really did that shit for me is how the coach ratted on himself at the end. That shit kind of just threw everything off of me. Like it was really it's really the principle. It's 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 a legendary movie. Penny, Shaq, uh, you know what I'm saying. It's a legendary movie, but it just, it's really not even about the movie itself. It's really, yeah, it's, it's the ending that really does it for me. That nigga snitched on himself. <laughs> Shit crazy. Just right. This is kind of like a Tyler Perry basketball movie, kind of like. I seen it multiple times. I know the story, it's a good story. And really, my mama, my mama got this shit on bootleg. But, you know, I watched it, you know what I'm saying? It's a straight movie, C tier, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, it got my boy Dwayne Wade in it, Dwight Howard, like the actual, it got, actually got some real NBA players. And I'm glad to actually put the Nets and not no bullshit, like, we'll say New Jersey, New Jersey Bumblebees or whatever. You know, you know how movies be when they don't be trying to get copyrighted by the teams and shit. But anyway, it's a solid movie. It's, re it's really a movie you watch with your old lady, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Rebound. It sound like a movie. It sound like a movie that I watched before. I just really can't put my thumb on it. But I'm just gonna put this shit in C tier because I feel like I ain't gonna lie. I feel like that shit legendary. I ain't gonna lie. Love and basketball. S tier. I wasn't putting the A tier. I ain't gonna lie. It's it's a, it's a classic. Everybody loves it. I watched it so many times on BET, VH1, MTV, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You can watch it with your girl, you can watch it by yourself. Everybody know the story. 
But I wash it so many times that it gets on my fucking nerves. Like when hoes bring this shit up, like hoes, man, you know, growing up in school, the hoes used to always bring up the sex scene or just loving basketball, period. I'm like, man, y'all hoes don't even like basketball for real, but it's a, it's a, it's a classic movie, man. And, uh, that's just what it is, man, straight up. Uh, I have a, I have no idea what this movie is, but y'all just let me know all these movies that I'm putting in the D tier. I'm putting it because I, I have no idea what these movies are, like straight up. So, Airbud. <laughs> Elementary school man. They used to always put this bitch on the uh, on the VCR and shit. Yeah, it's a classic, bro. Hey. Straight up for me, just because it's kind of uh, nostalgic. Um, I, I haven't watched it in years, but I just remember as a kid, I used to love it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I used to go like, you know, after school, I go to a care program. You know, my mom was at work and shit. So we'll watch the movies and shit. You know, it's a dog hooping and shit. Like, nigga, as a kid, that shit dope as hell. If I watch that shit today, that shit probably crazy as fuck. So, like, funny, like, as in cheesy and shit. But just off the nostalgic alone. That's just what it is for me. That's just my opinion. A butter rim. S tier. Pac. Uh, bro who played, you know, the main character. I don't know his name. Bernie Mac. Uh, Wood Harris. I mean, there's so many. Uh, the dude who played, from, uh, the dude who played uh, Shepard. Man, everything was just on point, bro. And uh, legendary movie, man. Legendary. Straight up. Hoop Dreams. S tier. This shit inspired this shit inspired you and killed your dreams at the same time type shit. It made you want to go outside and hoop. And it also made you like, damn, I, I could really, I could real deal not make it, no matter how, you know what I'm saying? But it's a classic movie. I need to watch the second one. Uh the second one, I think it was about Patrick Beverly or something like that. I just never took it out the time. I found that out like months ago. Uh but yeah, man, Hoop Dreams is a fucking... Yeah, you, we already know about that shit, bro. Uh, it said, I think it says Drive, he said. Uh, I don't know what that movie is. We're going to put that shit in the D category, bro. Straight up. Coach Carter. S tier. It, it gets on my nerves. Like, when it comes on all the fucking time. Like, this is the type of movie that you play on fucking Black History Month type shit. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson, legend, a goat. Uh, you know, watching Coach Carter, you know what I'm saying? It, it, sometimes it got me real emotional, you know what I'm saying? Because Co you know how Coach Carter's being a father figure to the young youngins and shit like that. And, you know, sometimes I get emotional watching that shit, you know what I'm saying? So that shit's legendary, straight up. Sunset Park. I haven't watched it, but this look promising. But I don't know about it enough, so I'm put that in a D tier just because I don't know it. Slam, so I feel the same exact way. So, Uncle Drew, this is a great movie. This is a great movie, man. Uh, I feel like this was when Kyrie was kind of at his prime. Even though I, I wouldn't say prime, but prime as in popularity and people loving him and shit like that. Cause he's actually in his prime right now. He's just people, oh, he always getting in trouble with the media and shit like that. And people try to write him off because of that shit. And they are being biased. But this is a great movie. This is an A-tier movie. This shit is better than Air Bud, of course. And really, this shit better than uh, What You Got It Too. So that's how I feel about that. Uh, like Mike, Street Ball 2. I used to, I love this movie. But. As I watched it, I used to, I loved it as a kid. Absolutely loved it. I remember uh, being in the kid, talking with a little, talking with a little boy my age back in the day. I remember we used to love Like Mike. We used to talk about that shit. I remember we were talking about, what about Like like Mike 100? And he jumped all the way to heaven. You know what I'm saying? Type, you know, just corny ass uh, little kid, you know what I'm saying? Conversations. But this shit, it wasn't better than the original. But it was definitely a solid movie, so I'm putting this motherfucker in the B tier. Definitely. Uh, and like Mike, S tier. This shit had me in a chokehold as a kid, an automatic chokehold. Like, I couldn't breathe, like, nigga. First of all, 
I used to want to be Lil Bow Wow, period, point blank. I thought that nigga was the coolest nigga on earth, you know what I'm saying? Like, then, like a young nigga getting money, the fame, you know, the whole line, got movies. Like, I, man, that, that was my dog. You know, on top of that, he was hooping, dunking on niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like Mike is, I was watching that shit the other day. And this shit is an automatic class. Like that shit had me in the room, it had me in my bedroom reacting to the uh reacting to uh the movie and shit. You know, doing you know what I mean? It just I still gotta get a Calvin Cambridge jersey, man. But man, this movie, man, this shit, this shit all the way up here, for real. Really, is it better than Space Jam to me? Man, yeah, cause I really watched this way more than Space Jam, but. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's, yeah, that's how I look now, hell nah. Yeah, this how, this how we rocking right here. So we got, he got game, you know what I'm saying? This how we rocking right here. See, I can, I, 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 nah, I'm gonna put this butt up. Yeah, that's how we rocking, man. And all these movies right here, if you, if, if, if this is your favorite, y'all just let me know kind of like what the kind what the breakdown is and um, you know things of that nature. But if y'all like the video, if y'all like videos like this, man, y'all make sure I like it. I'm gonna fuck with y'all tomorrow when I record again. But I just wanted to go ahead and put this video out there real quick and uh, yeah, I fuck with y'all, boy, man. I'm out of here.